Hello, this is Elizabeth, and I am the Catholic Lady, and um, I'm known as Catholic Lady Talks on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, so I'm going to be reading for you today the um, Mass readings for the second Sunday of Lent, which is on March 5th today. And um, so we're going to start with the first one, which is from Genesis 12, and uh, we begin... Um, it's a, a reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, our responsorial psalm uh, it comes from Psalm 33, multiple verses. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the Lord, the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. And that's from Psalms. And now we'll move to the second reading. Uh, this one comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Um, and we'll begin a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, Bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now this next reading uh, is from the Holy Gospel. And this is usually read by a priest or a deacon during the masses. And um, so we'll, um, but I'm neither neither <laughs> but I'll be reading it for you anyway and we always begin a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus took Peter James and John his brother and led them up a high mountain by themselves and he was transfigured before them his face shone like the Sun and his clothes became wh white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them, then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. And as they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell this vision to anyone until the Son of Man 
has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So there you have it. Those are our readings for today. I uh, need to prepare for Mass myself. Now, um, Father, uh, uh, Michael Sh Father Mike Schmidt, uh, you may have heard, uh, unfortunately lost his mother this week. So we need to lift him up and his family in prayer um, during this time of mourning for her, but also celebrating that she'll be with the Lord. So, um, but on the Hallow app, this today's um, homily for these readings is there, and you can listen to him on the Hallow for free. They're giving a three month uh, a free opportunity for you to go through uh, Lent with them. And um, it's, it's a wonderful app. You can also listen to um, lots of other people, uh, in particular, uh, Bishop Robert Barron. And uh, both of them do homilies today. You may find other homilies on there. There's a big selection of different readers, different topics. There's something on there for everybody and for whatever you might be going through in your life at this time, so that you don't feel like you're alone or, um, you know, something that can hopefully give you some guidance uh, for this time in your life, whether it be, you know, illness or uh, family uh, uh, issues or marriage issues, children issues, motherhood issues, fatherhood issues. There's something on there for everybody. So, that's my little plug for the Hello app. <laughs> I love it. I use it every single day. Uh, there's also an opportunity to do the Bible in a year and the catechism uh, in a year with Father Schmidt. Um, those are uh, some of the things. And right now they're doing Pray 40, which has um, Jonathan Rumi, uh, Jim Caviezel, um, several other people that are um, doing a a different uh, meditation every single day during Lent and it's not too late to join in on that and you can even can go back and uh, do some of the other meditations if you have the time during the day to go back and do another reading so I hope today brings you a, a peace and joy in your life and um, enjoy this day of rest if you can rest hopefully you don't have to work today and um, Spend some time with the Lord. Get to church. God bless you. Bye.